Genesis 1, the first section of the Bible, begins with a reference to heaven and earth. The second section of the Bible also begins with a reference to heaven and earth. In Genesis 2, 4, we have the first use of the, first use of the phrase, these are the generations of, uh, and it states these are the generations of heaven and earth. Uh, well, what's being referred to there? Uh, is that a uh, reflective title, is that referring back to what's just happened in Genesis 1, or is that referring to what happens next? All the way through Genesis, that, that phrase, these are the generations of, refers to things that happen after. These are the generations of Terah, for example, and what it gives us are the descendants of Terah, particularly Abraham and the stories of Abraham. Uh, the generations of Terah, that section of Genesis, describes what Terah produced, which is Abraham and all that Abraham does. In Genesis 2.4, the generations of heaven and earth are the things that heaven and earth generates. What we see there is that uh, what heaven and earth generate together, the marriage of heaven and earth, you could say, is humanity. Uh, and I think the particular moment when that happens is when God forms Adam from the dust of the ground and then breathes into his nostrils the breath of life. That's a kind of marriage between heaven and earth. That's a union of heaven and earth that comes together on this unique creature Adam made from the ground like the other animals, but unlike the other animals, he's not just a child of earth, he's also a child of heaven. Uh, and that places humanity in a particular position in the world uh, as a mediator between heaven and earth, as, uh, as, a, as, a kind, as a kind of firmament, as a kind of light in the heavens that shines on the earth and causes everything to grow and to flourish. And that's the picture that we have of humanity at the beginning of the Bible, and that, is, that picture is filled out through the rest of Scripture as we see uh, humanity pictured as uh, sun, moon, and stars, humanity pictured as pillars, humanity pictured as mountains that connect heaven and earth. Those are all variations on this understanding of humanity as a marriage of heaven and earth. I'm Peter Lightheart, president of the Theopolis Institute. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, please leave your comments and questions We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to have you return and watch future videos.